What's going on guys, RBG here bringing you an update on the latest Transformers film. It feels so weird saying this because there's always these huge gaps in time when it comes to updates. Which in all honesty, I don't know the particular reason why the news has been so scarce. Like you'd think it has something to do with the pandemic and to a certain extent it has somewhat affected productions but this stuff has been going on for quite a while before the outbreak even started. Paramount and Hasbro have been so vague and essentially left us in the dark when it comes to the future of the Transformers film franchise. But things seem to be picking up and we got more news to go over regarding the next installment so stay tuned. Now before we get started on the video I gotta give a huge shout out to today's sponsor TubeBuddy. As a successful YouTube user I often get questions asking what I use to get my videos tons of views and the answer to that is TubeBuddy. This thing has helped me take my channel to the next level in ways I never imagined. It's a browser extension that helps new and experienced YouTubers grow fast and optimize their channels. I've been using this extension for years and it's constantly getting updated with new features like the SEO tool that helps me come up with the perfect title, description and tags to get more people to click on my videos. It even provides you with analytics besides your videos to see how much traffic your video is generating from various social media sites. The extension is absolutely free but as a special offer we're giving a 50% discount for channels that have less than a thousand subscribers that purchase the pro upgrade. All you have to do is enter in the code RISINGSTARBUDDY. So if you're interested in starting a YouTube channel or taking your content to the next level, download the extension now. You can do so by clicking on this link that will be provided in the description of this video. But yeah guys, we have some more news regarding the current status of the newest Transformers film. A lot of you guys have probably been wondering where the production team stands in terms of the direction they want to go in with the franchise because they haven't necessarily hit their stride since Michael Bay officially stepped down from the films. Like the future has always been dim for these movies because if you remember there were multiple times where Bay said that he would retire from the Transformers projects and move on to doing other things. The first time he said he'd take a break from the franchise was shortly after TF2, but Paramount begged him to come back to direct Dark of the Moon after they mistakenly announced that the movie would come out in 2011 instead of 2012, which was the official release year. During the production of Dark of the Moon, Michael Bay stated that he wouldn't return for a fourth installment because the movies were becoming too taxing for him. With every entry, he has to outdo himself and go bigger, so understandably so, he was experiencing burnout. Not to mention he was still coming hot off the heels of Revenge of the Fallen that was critically panned. But after negotiating a deal with Lorenzo de Bonaventura and Paramount, he returned for Age of Extinction. He promised that would be the last TF film he would work on, but he will ultimately return to do Transformers The Last Night, which ironically enough was his final round at the movies and the lowest performing movie in the franchise, losing Paramount and Hasbro over a hundred million dollars. So that was a bit of a bummer. Once things seemed to be on the right track and Travis Knight knocked it out of the park with Bumblebee, things suddenly came to a halt. We didn't get any updates on if this would be the new direction for the film franchise moving forward, not to mention that Travis Knight announced that he wouldn't be returning to do another movie. Like it really seems like Paramount is looking for that one guy who could not only helm the directorial spot for Transformers but also revamp the perception of the franchise. Because they've garnered a negative reception and they aren't really that box office juggernaut that they used to be. All in all, we just want to know what the direction these movies are going to go in. Are we going to get that Rise of the Unicron film which is rumored to be the official sequel to Transformers The Last Night? Or are we going to get the sequel to Bumblebee? Inquiring minds want to know man. And apparently it looks like we won't be receiving either because according to Deadline this next installment will be a reboot. This article was shared via TFW 2005 and it reads as so. Paramount and Hasbro has tapped Stephen Capel Jr. to direct the next Transformers live action movie. After meeting with several top execs including Paramount Motion Picture President Emma Watts, the studio saw Capel as the best fit for the franchise that the studio chose to revamp at the top of the year. In January, the studio made the decision to give the entire franchise a revamp by having two stimulus scripts that are in active development, one by James Vanderbilt and one by Jobby Harold. Harold's film eventually would be chosen as the next installment in the franchise and once he had given his final touches on the script at the end of the summer, the studio began taking director's pitches on the next film. So as you hear it, it looks like it took Paramount a lot of time to come to this decision. Because if you guys remember, there was originally an announcement that we were getting three films that were in the works. It was just a few months ago that we had gotten word that we'd be getting an animated prequel for Transformers by the guy who directed Toy Story 4. And there seemed to be plans to capitalize off the positive reception Bumblebee got with an inevitable sequel. But it looks like we're getting a reboot that will be the official starting point for the live action universe going forward. I know a lot of you are probably wondering if this means Bumblebee will ultimately be scrapped since we are getting this reboot. Because the article basically denotes that the production team had to choose on if they wanted to do Bumblebee 2, Beast Wars, or this new reboot for the next film. But I honestly think that they'll still continue it in one form or another. Considering the fact that Bumblebee was essentially a soft reboot to the original Bay universe, I wouldn't be surprised if the execs ultimately came to the decision of fully rebooting the series. Just so they could get as far away from the Bayverse altogether. 
because I don't believe the audience has officially been won over yet, especially after being let down so many times from the earlier entries. Although Bumblebee garners a generally positive reception, it still had things to hate such as the comedy with some of the human characters, particularly with the main character Charlie's family. So Paramount and Hasbro still have a lot of work to do when it comes to convincing the audience to get back on board. I noticed there's this big divide in regards to what the fans want. You have fans who still want those huge in your face Transformers films that the Bay films have introduced. Even though Bay's style is what ultimately led to the Transformers films downfall, it was what brought the Transformers brand more mainstream relevance than it's ever had. Like you have to remember that the Transformers hype had started fizzled out shortly after the Beast Wars. By the time the Unicron trilogy rolled around, things were at their lowest. But the Bay films brought new and old fans back to the franchise, leaving us wanting more. And there's still an audience that yearns for that visual noise that the Bay films have introduced. But on the flip side, you have the old school fans who just want the films to actually do the Lord justice. We know that there's more than enough material to work with that'll make for an awesome movie if done right, and you can't go wrong with the more classical designs. Bumblebee was a prime example that the G1 style can translate to live action perfectly and look just as cool as the Bayformers. There's also the IDW comics that have mastered the art of keeping the characters familiar yet modernized. Anyways, regarding the newly anointed director, Stephen Cappell Jr., before Creed 2 came out, I had never heard of this guy. I think he did a pretty good job picking up where the original director Ryan Coogler left off with Creed, but I'm still somewhat concerned because while the director has complete control over the quote unquote direction of the film, they don't necessarily write the script for the films which are what decides if the story will be good or not. The script that was ultimately chosen is being done by a guy who hasn't had the best track record as of late. The last movie he wrote for was King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, and that movie was a flop. Up. But apparently Paramount and Hasbro see great promise in this guy, so hopefully he's written something that does a huge service to the Transformers franchise. If they're going to come with this alleged reboot, then it really needs to hit out the gate. We need to get a solid introduction to all the Transformers robots and make it to where they're the stars and not the humans they're protecting. Steven Cappell Jr. really needs to get that aspect down if he wants to revitalize this franchise. While yes, Bumblebee was the lowest grossing live action Transformers movie at the box office, it feels like the better course of action would be to make another movie better based in the Bumblebee universe. The film ended on a big note with Optimus arriving to meet B as they watched the other Autobots make their way through the Earth's atmosphere, leaving us wondering how things would play out this time around. And I'm personally bummed that the Beast Wars won't be the next installment, man, because there's a lot of things they can do with that particular lore. Like if they're looking to reboot the franchise, Beast Wars would be the best starting point. It's become such a niche part of the Transformers lore that not that many people know about it nowadays. Not to mention that if you want to completely change it up, why not go with the robots who can turn into animals instead of cars? It's something that hasn't necessarily been done yet in live action form, and I just want to prove to those closed minded G1ers who never gave the show a chance in the first place that there is an audience who will embrace it, and maybe they'll ultimately embrace it. I don't think people realize how much Beast Wars contributed to the Transformers brand, let alone the lore. You got things like the protoforms that were originally introduced in BW, and the show's responsible for introducing the concept of the spark to the TF mythos. So I find it funny that some of the naysayers claim that the show sucked or that it was a low point of the Transformers when in actuality it expanded on a lot of things and introduced people like me to the Transformers franchise. I'm hoping that the script the producers were working on is still an actual thing and we'll ultimately see it somewhere down the line. Until then, we have this new reboot to look forward to. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and bring this video to a close. What do you guys think about this new Transformers film receiving a reboot? Do you think they should have continued with the Bayverse or made a sequel to Bumblebee? And how do you feel about the director that's been brought on board? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I ask that you like or dislike the video. It doesn't have to be a thumbs up, it can be a thumbs down. Any feedback is good feedback and will only help me improve on my channel. But if you really enjoyed the video, it would help your boy out tremendously if you shared it with all your friends and followers on social media. Sharing really makes a difference. But once again, this is your boy RBG signing out on another video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.